hope you're all doing well out there. Last time I did a vlog was on my HIV and dentist visit. I'm still awaiting lab results. Uh, I had to go through some drama. Uh, it's still not over with because of COVID. I'll explain in a future video. But for today, I want to talk about patient zero. Gayton Douglas was a handsome Air Canada flight attendant who was sadly passed away at the young age of 31 on March 30th, 1984 due to complications of AIDS. For decades, he was regarded as patient zero. The man, the villain, was responsible for starting the AIDS epidemic in North America. But this proves to be false. There, are no, there is no reason to blame this virus on just one single person. Research has later proven that HIV was there far before he entered the country. The same month of his death, a study came out from the American Journal of Medicine traced many early HIV infections to him. Douglas was not named in the study, but was instead listed as patient O, which stands for outside California. This would end up being misunderstood by the media, and reports started coming out as patient zero with his name. A documentary portrays this patient zero. It's called And the Band Played On, and it's written by Randy Schiltz. He was used as a scapegoat. I'm embarrassed to admit I bought into this story, basically pinning good versus evil gays who spread the disease without care. At the end of the day, we are all human. At this time, 600 men were dead or dying. The news of a gay plague was greeted with laughter. A complete disregard for the lives of gay men. This would leave me speechless. Here is a trailer of the movie Killing Patient Zero. The 70s were just fabulous. You know, not only was all the sex. All through the 70s, sex was kind of the gay man's obligation. We thought that sex was good for you. Like hell. I got very clearly, I think, that uh, Gaytan liked having encounters that were no responsibility. Gaytan actually told me that. He had a project of having sex with a different man every night. You know, it's very easy to fall into the hedonistic side because it's intoxicating, but there was a price to pay, I think, for that. Um, and then it just got awful. It got worse and worse and worse from that moment on. I wish I'd never heard that term, gay cancer. I was totally paranoid and sketched shitless. I was in a state of perpetual paranoia. And so was everybody. Everybody thought, oh my God, I've got it. AIDS didn't just happen, it was allowed to happen. Essentially, Gaetan in Vancouver was the personage, the face of AIDS. And it just seemed so ludicrous. And really, that idea of patient zero as a figure, as a popular term, comes from and the band planned on. And I told him, no, don't do this. This is not a good idea. You shouldn't name patient zero. And I use everybody's name. He's not singled out at all. I think I make it put the disease on much more of a human scale. Really? This, this is all one person's fault? It felt like scapegoating to me. I thought like, oh, who's this poor guy that they're trying to blame this all on? Patient zero. Patient zero. Patient zero. Patient zero. What I understand is his family has remained silent over all of this ordeal. Uh, I sincerely hope that this documentary, through this still shocking example of the AIDS crisis will remind people of the brutal cost of prejudice. So that's about all I got for today. Um, when I come back, I definitely, hopefully, will have all my results and I want to talk about those. Stay safe out there, everyone. Take care. Michael K. Please remember to like and subscribe to support my channel. Take care, everyone.